Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Winfred. If you're seeing me for the very first time, but you can call me Terry. I know Teresa Winfred can be a bit of a mouthful, so Terry is fine. Terry will suffice. Or better yet, if you subscribe, then we become cousins. So we don't even have to like go by name basis. It's just cousin, cousin, cousin. Right? Okay. Anyway, so today I'm just, I'm trying to make this as quick as possible so that you can get to the learning so that on Christmas day or like even New Year's, Yanni, okay, I got you. So anyway, this came about um, after I saw this post, And I was like, no, I got to see my cousins. Because in a previous vlog, I had mentioned that I kind of, I felt like I had cracked the code of like soft layered chapatis without it being overly oily. And some of you, mm -hmm, two, two of you were like, girl, give us the code. We got to know. And I was like, it Christmas, because after seeing this post, I was like, there's no way my people are suffering. There's no way my people are being embarrassed. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Hey, let me rescue Christmas. <laughs> so you can call me Santa T. <laughs> anyway, anyway, guys, just watch. It's really simple, really quick. And this too can be a chapati in no time. Without further ado, let's get to it. So you'll need a bowl, wheat flour, of course, some salt, oil. Here is where you can add flavorings of your choice from carrots to onions or carrots and onions to pumpkin but for me today I'm choosing to just use cumin seeds. My portions are for one person and this will get me anything from 6 to 10 chapatis depending on the size. Now as far as measurements go, girl I eyeball okay. The ancestors are like add, remove, okay, okay and that's what I do. <laughs> See what I mean? mix to combine then add a well so now here's the one big secret okay um you need hot hot water mine you see is even actually boiling right and the thing i've learned with um using hot water to make chapatis is you'll need very little you see how you do the quantity do the ooh, girl i'm sorry you see the quantities you'd use when uh, making chapati with like maybe room temperature water now reduce it times i don't know how many just keep adding bit by bit until it's combined at this point i know it's still dry looking and you might be tempted to add water but imagine please don't i want you to see that i didn't add water so i'm just gonna speed this up but this is exactly how i ended up kneading it until it came how much dough you have um you can choose to either half or like make it into quarters or more just so it's a bit more manageable okay so for me because you know mine is very small very little for one person i just
next step is completely optional because the chapatis will be soft and layered either way but if you want to have that extra extra um, layer looking situation this is what you do just get uh, grab a number fold them and beat them until like you know just <laughs> keep beating them changing the you know the Bye-bye. 